two ways you can use to solve this math olympiad question okay we are going to start with the long one then we are going to stop with the smaller or the shorter one but before that you're welcome back to my channel thank you so much for always stopping by now let's get to it we are told to solve for this if 5 to the power of x minus 1 equals 11 i'm going to take it very i'm going to be very i'm going to explain this in detail so stick with me and you are going to enjoy it first of all i need us to go back to our laws of indices the solution here now in law of indices remember that it says that a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y okay what does this mean for example, if you have something like 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2, that this is the same thing as, since they have the same base, all you need to do is you pick one base, right? Pick one of the base, then you add the powers, 3 plus 2. So it means that what, when you have something in this form, that you can actually rewrite it in this form. Why am I bringing this up? If we are to apply it here, let's apply it to what we have here on the board. Now, on the board, what do we have? 5 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 11. That means that we can write this as what? Okay, solution. Solution. So, we have 5 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 11. That means we can rewrite this as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of minus 1 is equal to 11 based on what i just explained because that is the only time you can decide to pick one and then add the powers right right now there is another law of indices that we need to explain here as well remember that x to the power of minus one according to the law of indices is same thing as one over x right right so that means that as when we have two to the power of minus one is same thing as one over 2 to the power of 1, which is still 1 over 2, okay? So, if we are to consider that here, that means we can rewrite this as what? We can rewrite this as what? 5 to the power of x times 5 times 1 over 5. Because this minus 1, for me to remove the negatives, I'll just introduce 1 over. Okay, is equal to 11. Now, this 5 to the power of x is the same thing as 5 to the power of x over 1. So if we should solve this side of the equation, we are going to have, sorry, is equal to 11. 5 to the power of x times 1 will still give us 5 to the power of x. Over 1 times 5 will still give us 5, right? Is equal to 11. Okay. At this point, what we need to do is cross multiplication, okay? So let's cross multiply. And when we do that, 5 times 11 will give us 55 is equal to 5 to the power of x times 1 is still what? 5 to the power of x. Okay, we are going to apply our law of indices again. Now, let me come this side so that you understand what I'm about to do. Look at this question. What we have there is 5 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, and we have 5 to the power of x here. There is something we can do to this 5 to the power of x to become 5 to the power of x plus 1. Remember what I explained initially, that when you have... um. This, for example, this 5 to the power of x plus 1, we can rewrite it as what? 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 1, right? Yes, because that is the only time we are going to pick the base, which is 5, and we are going to add the powers, which is x plus 1. Now, note that x 5 to the power of 1 is still 5. So that means that for us to get this in this place, that means we need to multiply both sides of this equation by 5 to the power of 1 okay so let's do that right away so you now have that 55 times 5 to the power of 1 which is still 5 is equal to 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 1 okay so let's continue now 55 times 5 5 times 5 will give us 25 we'll write 5 and carry 2 right 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 is 27. So it means that 55 times 5 is 275 is equal to... Now, here we are going to pick one base, which is 5. <laughs> and we are going to add the power, which is x 
plus 1. So that means that x to the power of uh, 5 to the power of x plus 1 is actually equal to 275. And that is our solution. <laughs> as easy as that, formally. Okay, now I told you that I'm going to solve the second one. But before that, if this is actually the first time you are stopping by this lovely family, please don't forget to give us what a follow. Just click on that subscription button, then like, comment, and share. All right? So let's dive into the second solution. So for the second solution, it's actually a very short one. A very short one. Okay. Second solution. So let's solve this using the second and the shortest method. We are asked to find 5 to the power of x plus 1. Let me use this side of the board. Now, we know that 5 to the power of x plus 1 is the same thing as 5 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2. Yes, now, because 2 minus 1 is still plus 1. So this is equal to this. But remember... Do you remember that x to the uh, 5x to the power of minus 1 is equal to 11? Hope you can see that. So that means that we can rewrite this as what? 5 to the power of x minus 1. Remember that this plus 2, using the law that I explained to you, can be written as 5 to the power of 2. Right? Yes, that means we can represent this as this. Because if we should pick the base, which is 5, we are going to add the power since they are multiplying. So it's going to be x minus 1 plus 2. We have not changed anything. So all we need to do now is to substitute. Remember that we are told that 5 to the power of x minus 1 is 11. So you drop your 11 times 5 squared is 25. Now when you do 11 times 25, we all know how to multiply by 11, right? So all you need to do is you write your 2, you write your 5, 2 plus 5 is 7. So that means that... 5 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 275. Thank you so much for watching and to have a great day. Bye.